Hello everyone, this is Charles Wall. If you're back again with another edition of Cigar Rookie, and this video is an update to my humidor. My humidor, uh, what's going on with it, what's in it, and particularly the hydration. I ran into some problems, and uh, because this humidor is so large, I actually ended up neglecting it because it was keeping the humidity at the perfect level for a really, really long time. M much longer than I'm used to for having a small humidor. So I, I, again, I neglected it. And then I checked on it. I looked at my cigars, they were hard. Some of them were like, had that crunchy feel to them. Yes, they were, were not hydrated correctly. And I looked in, looked in on the digital hygrometer and it read 63, 63 uh, um, percent humidity. That's not good. It's not good at all. In order to combat that situation, I went ahead and didn't fill this typical hydration uh, mechanism here. We use for that comes with a sponge, the sponge hydra hydration system. I did that. And I went ahead and I use the gel, the C gel, and the Humicare gel beads at the same time to bring it back up. Now that wasn't working as fast as I wanted it to work, so I went ahead and got some Bolivia Bovita pack this is a 72 pack 72 and that's only to bring it back up a little bit faster I don't intend to keep it at 72 that's a little bit too high that's a little bit not too high but it's a little bit too high for my liking I like to have it around 70 so I put that in there temporarily wait awaiting the real hydration system that I recently purchased so this is my real deal hydration system this is the Cigar Oasis Plus. And this is going to allow me to have a little bit more control. And it also has an alarm to let me know that I have neglected it or I'm about to neglect it. So I need that extra help having this larger humidor. So that's why I purchased this. This is around $100. Uh, from Cigar International and uh, I think this is going to be exactly what I need to get this cigar uh, humidor online and consistent with the humidity more often. So we're going to go over how to set this up right now. So what I want to do is move some of this stuff out the way you can see this uh, humidor is packed full of cigars and it's crazy to not take care of that many cigars that's a lot of money that will go to waste if it's not properly hum humidified so I'm going to remove these I'm not going to keep these in and I'm also going to take this out also Next thing, I'm going to open her up. This is what it looks like when you get it. You got the wire with the USB cable and connector. In this box here, we have the plug and the ribbon wire. Ribbon wire. Then we have the connector for the ribbon wire and the USB cable. Also, the connector with the USB wire and USB cable, the uh, ribbon wire USB cable has that adhesive to put on the back of your, your um, humidor so that it doesn't move around and disconnect. So the first thing you need to do 
is hydrate this reservoir here. So we're gonna hydrate this reservoir. First thing we need to do is fill this. We fill the container here with water. Now the directions tell you to submerge this and submerge this in uh, a bowl of water. I don't have that much water to, to do that properly, but I will fill it to its brim. And then I'll, uh, after four minutes, like the directions say, I will uh, take off, pour out the excess water. Okay, four minutes has passed. We're gonna drain off the excess water. So I'm going to flip this over and put it upside down to let any more excess water drain out. Okay, the reservoir is now hydrated. We're going to go ahead and put the pieces together. Very easy, just connects right together. You have little notches right there on the side. You match those up with the notches right there. You can see that. And then it slides right on, clicks right on. There it is. All right, next thing we need to do is connect the ribbon wire. You're gonna run that through the back and then connect it. It's on the side here, right there. That's where the ribbon wire goes. Place that right inside there. I'm not going to connect the adhesive yet because I'm not sure exactly how I want it to be set up. Then I'll take the, con the uh, connector for the uh, ribbon wire to the USB wire right there. Connect it right there. Then we'll take the wire, the USB wire, to this end to connect it to this end here. Let's connect it there. And we'll connect this plug to the USB cable right there. all connected. Now we're going to put this in place. All right, it's all set up. Now, right now is reading what the current humidity is. Since I have it open, it's going to be it's going to read at 7. It's going to read whatever that is. Right now it's is at 58, of course, cuz it's open. That's the atmosphere that we currently have right now. See if you can read that, 57. When I close her up and give it some time, it'll stop going. So I wanna raise the humidity levels or lower them. I can press the up or down arrow button. If I wanted to be have more humidity, I can. If I have less humidity, I can. So I wanna, if I wanna raise it up, I put it past 70, 70 point. It goes all the way down to the decimal move it right here so you can see a little bit better. All right, it's reading 51.1 right now. Once I close it up, it'll read a lower level. So if I want it lower I can or higher, I can press the arrow button up. I want it at, say, 71. I can do that. 
or if I want it lower to 69, say 69, be perfect. I take it to 69, it, it even due to the decimal. So I have it right at 69, oh, wrong button. I put it at 69.5, 69.5. So once the humidity is at its desired level, it'll stop going. And if the uh, water level, the hydration level goes too low, it'll actually alarm. Right now, as far as what I can tell, it's gonna work out pretty good. The humming, you barely can hear it, especially with the other humming throughout the house, my fish tank, and the other sounds, the air conditioner, what have you. While that's going, you really can't hear it. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. That was another edition of Chronicles of Cigar Rookie. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and always leave a comment. I always ask the question, how would you spend your money? This is how I spent my money.